As you guys may know, I was a Call of Duty Mobile competitive player this year who played in the World Championship Stage 4 for North America. And I know many of you guys not only want to compete against better players, but play at the highest level of competitive Call of Duty Mobile. And who knows, you can potentially play in next year's World Championship and play on this stage. So today, I'm starting a whole new series where I'm going to be teaching you guys the callouts for all of the competitive maps. So whether you're playing a scrim or a tournament, you're going to be able to communicate just like a pro. But before before we get into the video, huge shout out to COD Mobile for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. For the first and one of the most popular hardpoint maps, we are going to be taking a look at Summit. Starting off at P1, which is also short for point one. We have a bunch of spots to cover, so let's get right into it. Up first at the most common place that OBJ players are going to be at, it is servers. Servers include this entire area, and this corner right over here is called BDOM, since this is where the B capture point is for domination. It's just an easier call out. And right by servers, we have this super obnoxious camping corner that a lot of players will play at. And this is called either P1 corner or server's corner, whichever works. And right next to that, there's a little hop up ledge to the window, which people just call window hop up or under window, whichever. Speaking of another very toxic camper angle, we have cage. And the corner next to cage is called cage corner, not to be mistaken for the corner right next to stairs, which can be either called under stairs or stairs corner. Of course, next up, we have the stairs itself and also the heady or the head glitch right below it. This is one of the hardest angles to kill anybody off of. And right behind stairs, we have computers, where a lot of AR players will play for map control. Right next to computers, we have the god heady. It is called that because this head glitch is impossible to kill players off of and overlooks the entire point. And right behind God Heady, we have Snow Door, also A Door, whichever works, as well as Connector. But most people just call it Con. Lastly, we have this little balcony that people like to jump on in Search and Destroy, not so much in Hardpoint, which is right above Connector and Snow Door. Usually, people just call it Tower or Balcony. But since it's not so common in Hardpoint, nobody really uses it. Next up, we're going to P2. Not as many to go over as P1, but still just as important. Starting off at the back of the map, we have Green. And if we walk just a few steps, steps outside, we have this little area which is called outer green or deep green. The little box head glitch here, people just like to call it green heady. And to continue forward, we have these stairs leading up to top, which we call top stairs. And the little corner underneath the stairs will be called under stairs. And if you're an aggressive player, you would already know if you like going top, there's a little jump up area that is called hop up. Not to be mistaken for the window hop up, which is connected to P1. And this entire area up top on the second floor is just called top. And if we drop down from top, this whole area over here is called C-Dom because in Domination, this is where the C-Point is. And if we go underneath top, these two little rooms over here is just called Bottom. And for anyone wondering what this common corner is called, people usually just start screaming corner and most likely it's that one. And to not mix it up with the actual point, the bridge itself is a whole different part. Up next at P3, our third point, which is also called Blue. So we're going to start at the very back of the map, which we call Deep Spawn or CT. Just to note, it's more common to call it CT in s and and Deep Spawn during P3. And right outside of Deep Spawn, we have Water Tank. And this head glitch over here is called Deep Heady. Next up, just outside of the hill, we have Forklift. And right by that, we have Deep Snow. This bridge over here connecting to Deep Snow is usually just called Snow. But if you want to be specific, you could call it Snow Bridge or just Bridge. And this thing over here is called either Gondola or Ski Lift. Both works. Now, if we go back towards the hill, we actually have this path that is right in between blue and green. We call this Mid Lane. And lastly, this common head glitch angle E box, or you could call it blue heady. Last up, the final point to go over is P4. So to kick it off, we have forklift over here, and this specific part being called fork heady because it's one of the hardest head glitches to kill players off of, and it's just a very hard angle to challenge. Behind forklift, we have this huge container that players either call container or cargo. Though for this point, it's actually not CT, but called T or deep spawn, which is also the area most teams will be fighting for. This spawn is connected to this red building that, for short, we just call it red. And and this pathway outside of the point that leads from the spawn to the hill is called catwalk. And lastly, the secondary entrance that leads all the way down to the A-bomb site is called snow. And the rock over here, you could call it rock, snow rock, whichever works. So that basically wraps up my first ever video.
video for my callout series. Let me know in the comments if you guys learned anything new and if you guys want to see more videos like this where I cover all of the competitive maps. And make sure you guys let me know if you want to see any videos where I teach you guys how spots work.